Welcome to another sterling video on how to write a small town marketing business plan. We're going to continue on with the business plan today, and we're happy to have you along with us. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, our topic today, um, we're going to talk about how to back up your small business plan with facts. So up until this moment, you have uh, you've only been doing hearsay. Uh, so what we need is we need some facts that are going to back up what you're what you're saying in your business plan, because uh, what it what it boils down to right now is that uh, all you've done so far is tell us what you think is going to happen. So we need to back that up with some facts, and we're going to start off with that. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, brochures and uh, advertising materials and. Uh, now, one of the things to think about, um, all of these um, topics I'm going to talk about are in the description below with timestamps so that you can go to any one of these as we go through the, through the uh, program. And uh, you can stop and uh, analyze each one as we go through them. The other thing to think about is you're not going to need every single one of these. So these, and there may be some in here that I haven't included. So uh, if there are any that I haven't included, please put them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer you or send you to a link and where you can find the information. The other thing we need to think about is that at the end of the video, I'm going to show you some places you can go and get free help with the things that we're going to talk about today. So stay tuned for the end uh, so that we can get that information to you. So. Uh, brochures and advertising materials, uh, as I say, you may or may not have these yet, but we, we do want to talk about them because they're very important as to how you're going to advertise, how are you going to, how are you going to bring people in? So you're going to do some demonstrations of either uh, your brochures, uh, uh, samples of ads or things like that that you might have put together. Now, these can be hand drawings. They don't have to necessarily be finished product, <clears throat> but we want to give the people who are uh, who are looking at your business plan, we want to give them uh, some idea that you know what you're talking about, that you've planned this out, you've got your advertising materials and everything in uh, uh, ready to go and uh, all all set. So it's not going to be a uh, it's not going to be an issue. Next thing we've got to talk about is have you done any industry uh, standards? Uh, or any uh, industry, industry studies, easier for me to say, uh, industry studies or market research. Of course, this is, this is very important too, that you, if you can cite industry studies, if you can cite market research studies, this will go a long way in backing up the things you said in your business plan, how much you're going to do in the first year, second year, third year, etc. So if there's a, if there are industry standards out there, if there are market studies that prove and back up what you say, then those should be included in your plan as well. So very important that we uh, continue with those things. Next, uh, are there any maps uh, and photos of your location of where you're going to be? Now, this is critically important because where you are is important to the success of your business, particularly if you're talking about uh, getting uh, some kind of a loan from a bank or something like that. They're going to want to know where are you? <clears throat> Where's your business going to be located? Now, uh, as far as the map goes, if you have a high traffic area, uh, if you're going to be in a busy street, then I would highlight that on the map, mark where your location is. Uh, the, uh, uh, you know, if you've got any studies on how many cars go by each day, uh, you know, maybe you've sat out one day and just counted them. I don't know, but uh, if you could have that. Now, the other thing is taking the photo of the building. We want to show the building or whatever site you're thinking about in the best possible light. So um, uh, the, the uh, sun should be shining on the building. So if that's in the morning, if it's in the afternoon, uh, whenever it is, uh, that's the best time to take the picture. The other thing is, look at the building itself. Does does the street need to be cleaned? You may have to you may have to go out there with a broom and clean the street before you take the picture. Is there weeds growing up through the sidewalk? Uh, so you know, all of these things have to be taken into account 
and make sure that uh, you present the best possible photo that's going to inspire whoever's looking at your business plan to say, yeah, that looks like a good location, looks like a good building, looks like a good place to be, whatever it is. So by all means, uh, don't, uh, don't leave the maps and the uh, uh, locations and things out of your plan. So going to be very important. Uh, the next one, uh, magazines, magazines and articles. So uh, have you been in a magazine? Have you, uh, have they, anybody written a story about you or anything like that? If not, um, I would suggest you go to findarticles.com. And uh, if you don't have any industry uh, magazines that you subscribe to, uh, findarticles.com, you can put a search in for your industry or the types of uh, products you have or whatever. And uh, if you can find supportive articles, that again is going to reinforce with the lender or whoever you're going to for your business plan, that's going to reinforce how well you're doing, how popular uh, your business is, and uh, some sex success stories about other people who've been in the business. All of these are going to help you with your, with your business plan. So uh, you can't do too much research uh, on this kind of, uh, these kinds of things. Next, uh, detailed list of equipment owned or to be purchased. And again, if you can find pictures of the equipment, uh, if you can find uh, brochures on what the equipment does, how it saves money, how well it uh, operates, uh, any history, uh, testing of it, any uh, positive reviews of the equipment, anything like that. You know, I, I know this is a lot to put into business plan. And as I say, not everybody needs business equipment or other things, but we're trying to cover it a little bit for everyone. So as I said before, not everything that we're talking about today is going to go in every single business plan. So that's why I time stamped everything below in the description. So you can just go to the parts that uh, you need to deal with. So uh any contracts uh things like that any copies of leases anything uh, like that that you've uh, uh that you've uh done uh maybe you're a restaurant you have a contract with a chef to make sure the chef doesn't just walk out someday uh maybe there's a penalty a price penalty for him to leave or maybe you've got uh, if you're an auto mechanic maybe you've got somebody who specializes in uh, computer uh, computerized cars, <laughs> which everything is today. So you don't want to lose that person. So uh, you may need uh, contracts or leases on the property or things like that. So how long is the lease? Do you get free months? Um, anything like that? Uh, you know, all of the details in the uh, in the lease will be important to uh, the lender. Next, uh, we want to talk about letters of support from current or from um, uh, existing customers. So if you've got some folks that uh, are happy customers, they really like you, uh, whatever, uh, letters of support would be very important. Now, here's my suggestion to you. If you ask someone to write a letter of support for you, uh, that's going to really put them on the spot. Uh, they 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 have no idea what to write that will make you happy so what i would suggest you do is ask them hey if i write three or four letters supporting my business and submit them to you could you pick one and sign it and uh, can we use it as your support letter and i think most people will say yeah that's a great idea let's do that and uh, you know write up three or four versions and uh, submit it to them and more than likely they are going to pick one or two uh, and uh, and sign them and you can submit the same ones to someone else and uh, maybe they will they will do the same thing you don't need a whole bunch of them but one or two or three in there will make a a, a big difference to the uh, to the person that you're uh, trying to uh, get the uh, get the dollars from all right uh, any other materials needed to support the assumptions in this plan and as i mentioned earlier these are assumptions you know you're 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 giving pie in the sky you're giving guesses you're giving uh uh forecasts uh, and we all know about weather forecasts they don't always work out as planned so we need to back up uh all of the assumptions that we've made with proof and facts from other industries other sources 
uh, studies, um, uh, articles, information that will give the lender a little more breathing room to say, yeah, I think this is probably a good idea. I think this, I think this business could probably fly. So uh, that's what we want to, that's what we're going after here. So as I told you um, before, the other thing, a uh, list of assets available as collateral for the loan. So uh, this may be, uh, it might be the property. If you own the property that you're putting the business into, uh, that might be collateral. There might be the business um, equipment itself might be the collateral. Uh, they may want you to sign a personal guarantee for the loan of the uh, of whatever uh, you're going after with your business plan. So there's all kinds of things to think about here, but the more you can back up your business plan, the better it's going to be in the long run as we go through uh, all of these uh, things to accumulate and present a successful business plan because that's our goal here is for you to be successful. We want you to get that loan if you need a loan. We want you to have a plan that will be successful. We want you to be successful. That's why we're here. Otherwise, why, why am I here? So no need to be. So uh, as I told you at the uh, beginning, uh, we've got some sites uh, that you can get for a, a free personal one-on-one -on -one attention uh, with your small business plan. And uh, the other thing is that we've, um, uh, as I mentioned before, we've got the, uh, uh, well, I've time stamped all of these. Uh, they're in the description below so that you can go to any part of this and replay it if you want to. And uh, if there's anything you didn't understand or whatever, please leave it in the comments below and uh, we'd be happy to uh, address those things. And also, uh, hey, don't forget to, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, let me get rid of that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell and like us uh, and leave a comment. Uh, where are you watching from? So once again, the uh, sites uh, that we need to go to are going to be uh, in the description below. One is the Small Business Development Center. They will help you with your business plan. They know the ratios of what a bakery should do, what a hardware store should do, what a shoe store should do, nail salon, uh, you name it, whatever. Uh, whatever you've got there, uh, they are happy to provide that for you. They will be more than more than glad to do that. Uh, another one is score.org. Uh, you can uh, get on score.org and go to uh, uh, that website and put in uh, the information you need and you'll get a list of people and their qualifications. And you can pick someone uh, or more than one and uh, they will be happy to give you advice because those people have been in your industry. They know the questions to ask. They know the things that uh, bankers or lenders are going to be looking for in your business plan. So let's make sure that we, uh, we talk to those folks and uh, help them out. And also, uh, there, all these are free, by the way. And the Small Business Administration, SBA.gov, that's also in the description below. And uh, that will uh, that will get you to uh, that will get you to a free business plan uh, uh, examples and samples and questions that should be included in your plan and all of those things. So there's a lot of free help out there for you because we want you to be successful. We really do. We want your business to succeed. So it's very important that uh, we uh, get all those get all those things in there. So. We hope that will help you believe it. All, this, all the things are in the description below. We hope that uh, you will uh, take advantage of that. And again, my uh, email is also in the description below. If you want to email me with any questions or anything that you, anything that I can help you with, if I don't know the answer, I will certainly find a source uh, for you to go to uh, or a, an article, website, whatever. So as I said, your success is the whole reason we're here. So we hope uh, that this has been helpful to you. And uh, here are a couple other websites that you might want to check out uh, on our site here that might help you out in, a, in addition to what we've talked about today.